Welcome to Tech Notice. Now, this over here is another super, super exciting motherboard. Now, I don't usually get excited about motherboards, but this one over here is an ASUS ProWide B550 Creator motherboard. What's so special about it? Well, this one over here is the first AMD motherboard that has Thunderbolt 4 support. Yes, AMD plus Thunderbolt 4 poof, put together motherboard for creators absolutely awesome and i would say it's perfect except it's missing one thing let's talk about it so first of all in the motherboard box if you didn't know what you're gonna get oops <laughs> forgot my laptop in you're gonna there get a laptop. <laughs> you're gonna get a mac no you don't very interesting cable this one over here is these are display port cable and you're wondering why do you get that with the motherboard we're gonna get to that in a moment. Two SATA cables, even though there is four ports, and you're gonna get like Pro Art, you know, user manual, DVD, ASUS Control Center Express, just literature no one's bothered about. If you are familiar with like the CPU situation, then basically Ryzen processes at this moment much better almost at anything for creators. So if you're a creator doing photo editing, video editing, 3D rendering, visual effects, video effects, then most likely the Ryzen processor is a better fit for you. Thunderbolt 4, if you didn't know, used to only be available for Intel platforms. But now finally we have the first motherboard that is for creators. Thank you very much, Asus. I'm super excited about that. If you're a creator, you should be as well. And we have an AMD, as you can see over here, I have a very rare CPU plugged in over here. This is the Ryzen 9 5950X, just for example. And we have some T-Force ARGB RAM. This is very cool, beautiful RAM over here as well. If you wanna check them out, I'm gonna leave the links in the description. The main thing is we have AMD processor, which is absolutely amazing. And we have Thunderbolt 4 support. So let's have a look at the motherboard and what else do we get? Obviously we have four slots of memory on the this side then on the top we have like the cpu fan headers connectors over here we have rgb headers on the top over there and then on the bottom over here as well if you want to you know connect it to other rgb products that you have in your case very very important thing over here this is the case USB-C port, so if you have a case that supports USB-C, like USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. So this one over here connects to the case, which is super, super exciting. For example, the Gigabyte B550 Vision D, which has the Thunderbolt 3, is missing this USB-C port, which is very, very helpful to have this over here. Now, the Gigabyte actually has uh, an updated version of the B550 Vision DP, which has this port over here as well, but ASUS is taking it a step further, we have Thunderbolt 4. We have four SATA ports over here, we have like the panel connectors, few USB headers over here, not so exciting. And then let's have a look at this side over here then. Now this one over here is Crystal Sound, it says Crystal Sound, but basically what this is is ASUS Crystal Sound 3.0, which means that you're gonna actually get AI noise cancelling both ways. Now I'm not sure how it works coming in noise cancelling rather than going out. One way it kind of makes sense how it works but it works both ways which is very very exciting so if you do any you know video conferencing or teaching from home this is very very exciting to have this one over here built into that. We have a chipset heatsink over here pro art and can we just admire the design. It looks absolutely beautiful. I wish there was more gaming boards that would just look slick and smart like this one. It just looks like a you know like a elegant like a gentleman walked into the room. Hello, my name is ProArt B550 Creative Motherboard. So we have two M.2 connectors over here. This one over here with a heatsink and this one over here. This one over here isn't 4.0 PCIe. This one on the top is. And if we actually unscrew this header over here, if you already noticed this, you don't get any M.2 screws with the motherboard. So basically this motherboard has these new little connectors over here. Basically they're tool-free connectors so if you put your M.2 over there, you're just going to flick this and then it's going to lock your M.2 in the place, actually the other way, this way, and then you don't need to put the screw in there. The interesting thing is, or kind of this is a thing that actually doesn't work for me because you still have this heatsink over here that you're going to have to screw out. You're still going to have to use a screwdriver to get this heatsink out. So don't know why this is such a big deal. Tool free M.2 installation. I don't get that, but it's there if you wanted to. Over here we have PCIe 4.0, this M.2 slot and this 
uh, GPU or PCIe full slot over here is 4.0 as well and X16. Or you, you can have them both at PCIe 4.0, but then one of them is X8 and X8. So that's this over here. If you wanted to run dual GPUs, you could. There's a full slot difference over here, which is very, very interesting as well. So let's move on to this over here. And this is where things get interesting. We have two USB-C ports over here and these are Thunderbolt 4. So you're going to get 40 gigabits per second uh, transfer bandwidth speed. And if you wanted to, you can run like two 4K displays or one 8K display with these Thunderbolt 4 ports. As you can see, this display port over here is a DP in and not output. So you're gonna have like your graphics card, connect the cable from the graphics card to this DP in over here. We have HDMI port over here. This is HDMI out if you wanted to, you know, you can get HDMI out if you put the DP in over here as well. But also I think it supports Ryzen 4000 you know, processors. So if you wanted to get one of those processors in there that has an integrated graphics, you could use that there as well. Then we have four USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports over here. As you can see, those little teal ports, these are all 20 gigabits per second, which is also super, super fast, but obviously half the bandwidth as one of those Thunderbolt 4 ports. We have two ethernet ports over here or LAN ports, we have 2.5 gigabit, and both of these are Intel ports, so very, very high quality ports. So if you're running a NAS or something like that, you can actually get, you know, quite a good speed out of there, like 2.5G will get you roughly like 300, or up to there, 300 megabytes per second speeds, transfer speeds. So it's not like 5G, five gigabit per second or 10 gigabit per second speeds. So if you are running or editing from the NAS, then you probably wanna get like internal PCIe slot, ethernet slot with a 10 gigabit NIC over there. Then we have this BIOS update in the back over here, which is very, very useful. So if you are running like any of the future processors that are not supported out of the box, like maybe the 6000, you know, series of Ryzen processors, then you could uh, do the BIOS update or you can update the BIOS with, from this, which is very, very helpful. Now, this is one of the first motherboards that is actually, if you look at this one over here, it says AMD Ryzen 5000X desktop ready. So out of the box, you can slot this Ryzen 9 5950X in and you don't need to update the BIOS. It's actually gonna run and you can, you know, it just works out of the box. Um, and then we have final two little uh, USB 2.0 slots over here and this very old keyboard and mouse slot, which for me is kind of waste of time. Like I, but we could have done without it. I don't think anybody is using a keyboard or mouse with one of those connectors. Everything is USB or wireless. So that's that. Now this is the one bit that I think, ah, uh, I wish this was built in as well. Then it would have been perfect motherboard because you're already paying $299 for this. So the retail value for this is $299 from the manufacturer that is USD. If you want to pick this up, the link for this is in the description. But the one thing that's missing from this motherboard, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. As you can see, See, there is no Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So even though they got the Thunderbolt 4, which is absolutely amazing. So think about all the external hard drives, monitors, docks, or anything you want to add to this. It's absolutely fantastic. If you want to, you can get like a Thunderbolt 4 to 10 gigabit ethernet like connector or con dock or something like that. You can connect it to these Thunderbolt 4 ports and then you can even get 10 gigabit ethernet if you wanted to. So most likely if you're going to use Bluetooth keyboards or mouse, you're going to need to use one of those ports over here and get a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi card. If you want to pick one out, I'm going to leave one in the description as well. Overall, this is not a review over here. I'm just checking this out because I'm so super, super, super excited about this motherboard. First of all, good looks, something for the creators. Yes, we don't need that much gaming stuff. We need more stuff for the creators like this one. Now, the two things that kind of puzzle me about this motherboard still is, like I mentioned, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You probably could have done it if it would have been an X570 chipset, and I don't know why it isn't. Now, I haven't seen any new X570 motherboards coming out. I think there is the new one X570S coming out. I think Gigabyte like named them X570S. It's the same chipset, but kind of different design so that it's not an active cooling, but it can be passive cooling for this as well. But I wish this was X570. My kids are screaming downstairs. 
where was I? And there's also lots of security features and things like that. So you can, for example, map one of those USB ports or all of them to only read only. So no one can actually transfer files from the system to any external drives or something like that. Like cool features like that that's meant for creators and things like that. Cool looking motherboard, very cool. If you want to see any of these builds, let me know what combination of a build would you use for this motherboard? Like what GPU, what CPU and what, uh, you know, case would go really really well with this motherboard let me know in the comment section below also if you want to pick any of these parts up in the video i'm going to leave them in the description below so if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing because more videos like these are coming out every single week hit that like button it actually makes a difference thank you very much if you have done so and i'll see you soon look at that changing cameras wow see you soon adios